What starts off as a nearly 400 pound block of ice can turn into a submarine. It's all thanks to the Cripple Creek Ice Festival, which the town says is helping them and local small businesses. Yeah, it's nice to have the business. Gold Camp Cafe says while the winter months usually mean a slow season for businesses in Cripple Creek, lately it's been a little different. You know, the ice castles this year have brought a very slow winter to a very, very busy, bustly winter, even during the snowy days. Um, and Ice Fest combined, um, we've had record weekend so far. I think it's really awesome. I've never seen anything like this before. Thousands have come to the mining town for the 21st annual Ice Festival. What we do is we bring in tons and tons of ice. We line Bennett Avenue, which is our main street, with all of these ice blocks, and then we bring in teams of carvers. The teams then use anything they can, including blow torches, to compete for a prize of $5,000, where the winner is picked by the crowd. What I look for most in a good ice sculptor is continuity and um, you know, form and gesture and that sort of thing. All while the city says it's to help the locals. This event is what originally got our business owners through the winter time. Without this event, many of them can't make it. We unfortunately were unable to have the event for three years during the COVID time frame, and it was devastating for our small business owners. It's something Gold Camp is excited to see expand in the future. All my small business friends here on the block are very happy, so you know it's great for us. The city of Cripple Creek says the ice festival is going to be going on until February 25th. It's free to enter and is all up and down East Bennett Avenue. In Cripple Creek, I'm Devin Carp, News 5.